Hello everybody, welcome back to the another episode of Lightning Outdoors. And this is how to clean fish with a butter knife. We got a bowl, we got a butter knife, and we got a fish. Recently caught, killed by lake, and now I'm going to clean them using or attempting to clean them using just a butter knife. Since these ones are so small, we're doing probably one of my less favorite methods. I don't know how well you guys can see. Can you bring them up a little bit? No. Okay, I'll be there in a little. Uh, I don't care. Fish. The way I'm cleaning it, it is. Yep. I like that tail. Okay, guys, I'll take the back. That was a failed attempt. I have to. I'm going to get my knife out of the back of this machine of awesomeness. i got to find a knife in this machine of awesomeness. No knife. I know i got one somewhere, guys. Just hang with me for a minute. There it is. Told you guys I had a knife somewhere. go cut the head off and you want to just rip the guts out the, the toe's done hey Merrick can you go get me a plastic bag plastic bag? yeah Where for I don't know grandma should know or at least uh, some sort of bag or something to put the carcasses in. That'll work perfect. What are you doing with it? I'm putting fish guts in it. Is there any meat in these fishes? Yeah, right there. That's the meat? Yep, that's the meat. You just chop the head off? I scale it, because they're scales and those aren't good to eat. And then I cut the head off, yeah. Okay. Hope you don't mind it. I can't have your face in my videos, but I can always edit that out. Okay. It'll just take yeah, a little... Yeah. Be than that. Nope. These ones are small enough that it doesn't take much effort. And you just chop the head off and gut it? Yep. What little guts remain in the thing? There's a wasp behind me, isn't there? Or is it a dragonfly? Okay. Let me know if there is so I know to start running. After this, I'm going to go and eat. I need to get like a, five gallons of water to go rinse this thing off. Hey, yeah! They caught it! What? Okay. Is there a broken one? I don't know. Oh! What's that? <laughs> That's your hook. How do you gut it? You just rip the guts out with your hands. And then you just throw it in there? Yep. Will you like wash it with water or something? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll wash all this down with water when I'm done. So you just scale it, cut the head off, and then gut it, and then wash it, and you can cook it? Yeah. What do you do with the tails? You cook the whole thing right there. Oh, okay. The whole thing's edible. Well, except the bones, obviously. So you just eat it off the bones? Yeah. Really fun. If you're wondering how I caught these, not that hard. You take a worm on the bottom 
and some shade. Pop it down and just wait. They'll bite eventually. Why we chop liver? Oh, when it comes to the dogs, we chop liver. Ah. Uh. Crash and burn, crash and burn. Normally I'd have a hose to hose this stuff down, but I don't have a hose with me today. Why? Because I'm not where I normally am, and this isn't the proper fillet table. This is a uh, grandparent's house. You need a fish cleaning station. Yep. More or less right now, a gallon of water. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's where we always clean our fish, is on the water. Yeah. I, I was walking back, and then I'm like, oh, wait, there's already a fillet board down there. Yeah, that actually would have been smart. Yeah. Didn't think about that. Oh, well. Next time won't be too long from now. No, it won't. So, who did most of the catching? Mmm. It was me. It was you that got most of them? Well, not most of the kept ones, but most of the, uh. Okay, who caught most of the kept ones? Uh, it was pretty fairly split between, uh, me, Luke, Andy, and Merrick. Really? Yeah. Awesome. So I'm really, I'm really surprised you caught some fish during the time of day you were out there. Out there. But we, w so. we were having it all on the bottom. Oh. Yep. Why don't you come help? Oh. He, he's only got three left. <laughs> he's already done what? Four? Five? It's because I've done it a lot. <laughs> yeah. His dad won't do it for him anymore. Nope. Not that I know how to do it. He says you do it. That's Where right. are the rest of the fish? Right next to me. I honestly don't know what wow, the... Wow, you take off a lot of the head. Not much, actually. Well, see, look at all that meat there you're leaving. This is how Dad showed me to do it. Yeah. Well, I guess everybody does it their own way. Oh, well, these ones still have eggs. Ooh. Boy, if Grandmother was still alive, she would fry that up and... Oh, she loves that. Dad sometimes does it. Not often, but sometimes. Well, that's two of green sunfish. You'll have to have like six of these for one meal. <laughs> no kidding. Th these are appetizers. Yeah. Do you have crackers? Uh, Andy, these have bones I in them. I think Scott has pretzel crackers. Yeah. If you, you could put these on like, crackers or something. You'd have to pick bones. You'd have to, yeah. What did your dad call his little bones out? Bones out. <laughs> and you need the knife. You scale them, I lop the head off and gut them. Alright. Or I can scale them and you lop the head off and gut them. 
I don't know. Sir. Yeah, I think we'll do it. I scale you lop and gut. Uh, we got one more. One of the two. I'll probably end up having to edit out a lot of faces. That's gonna take a while. <laughs> This one's tough. From what I found, the older they get, the tougher they are. Tougher they are, yeah. That's just about the same with anything. That's why the old hens are used for stewing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we lost uh, four of ours. Yeah, that's what Jack said. We got predators. Yeah. Hey, Merrick. I'm shocked that we actually lost one of the roosters. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the predator there, especially at night. Yeah. You think it's foxes? Uh, too skinny. Or, potentially. Well, it could be. It's either like two, three foxes or a mink. Mm. Because, uh, this thing, it just leaves the skin and bone, or just feathers and bones, nothing else. And by nothing else, I legit mean nothing else. Now, he has said one was missing completely? Yeah. Yeah, that's the ones we think might, the fox might have taken to its litter. Um. As he said, there's the fox and some kids. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure once he I found the fox. took it. Yep. The little one. I'm pretty sure I one time found a fox den. Was that last one? Yep. All right. How do so, we get all this? Out? I'll come wash it off in a moment. First things first, you get these inside. Okay. And wash them. Out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> trying to. Don't worry, up. No, I know they are. <laughs> I'm trying to keep keep the camera down so I don't get any face. I'm trying to just do that. Hey, scout. Hey, Dad. Which one's hot and which one's cold? This is hot. One on the left. It'll take a while. It's hot and you want cold. We're going to rinse your face. Okay, we're going to have a bunch of steel. Come over and let me get it. Nothing for you yet. I didn't get a good job at these. I'm scaling them? Yeah. Oh, while well, you're in the tank with the butter knife. I don't have the butter knife with me. Well, I'm sure there's one in that dirty utensil.
Dad, I'm going to be kind to my viewers and I'm not going to make them have to sit through all this. <laughs> well, I'll make it second down anyway. It's too graphic. Oh. You didn't about that, did you? No. Don't let me get you. You're kind of hogging the whole sink area. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. How's it too graphic? Because people don't know where their food comes from, Colton. And people are swimming. Trust me. You guys are insulated from a lot of people and a lot of weirdness. So. But what if I say on the label, catch and cook? Catch and cook is fine, but you don't have to clean them for them. But they always do that in the catch and cooks. Not always. But that's the entire purpose of why I'm watching a catch and cook, to know how to clean the thing. You know how to clean fish, Colton. Yeah, but not some fish. Like pike. Um, yeah, but we're not fishing where you're catching pike either. I mean, unless you're learning how to fillet a pike bone. Yeah, if you're going to fillet a bone, that's a little bit of a story. Oh, I know what I can do. Catch. Clean and cook. That's I. That's actually all I did. <laughs> Just how to clean a bluegill. Good. Go ahead. I'm gonna have to do some serious editing on this one. You need to learn how to actually edit, be able to cut, insert, do all that stuff, do voiceovers. Oh, I know how to do voiceovers. I discovered that yesterday. You need to do all that stuff yet. If you want to be this, be a YouTuber.